Hey, it's Sharon. Your workout today is a low impact HIIT cardio workout. You don't need any equipment. We're gonna do about 20 exercises in a row for 45 seconds. All you need is your mat or have a soft surface to work out on. Let's get started. Hey everyone, thanks for coming to work out with me today. Welcome back to my community of fitness enthusiasts. If you're here for the first time, welcome also. So we're doing a low impact HIIT cardio workout today. So there's not gonna be any jumping, but we're still gonna raise our heart rates. That's why it's called the HIIT. We're gonna do 45 seconds each exercise and we're gonna move on to the next one. I will always show you the modifications and the exercise before we move on. Um, I just have water and a towel with me and a mat, that's all you need. And let's just get started with our warm up. So we're gonna march in place. So if you're here for the first time or not, I would love you to subscribe to our channel. We are finding that about 80% of the people that watch us are not subscribing to our channel. It helps us grow on YouTube. Let's go back and forth. Um, the more we get recognized on YouTube, the more we can grow and the more we can continue to bring these free workout videos to you. So consider subscribing, it's really easy to do. Let's do some arm circles back and come forward. And also, if you look below, I'll have a description of this exercise there. Let's go back and forth. And there's also a comment section and a thumbs up section. So if you can give us those thumbs up at the end of this workout, that also helps us grow on YouTube. So I love doing um, low impact also videos, cardio videos. We tend to, let's do those arm circles, a lot of high impact jumping, and it's good to mix it up sometimes. So hope you all enjoy this workout. Swim towards me. Let's grab our knees up and down. So we always work out before, warm up before we work out and cool down with stretches at the end. We want to get the blood flow going to our body. Keep going. So let's do some windmills. We're going to go down and up. Come down, reach across, all the way up. Down and up. So I targeted these workouts for women 40 and over because that's when I started working out. And I wanted to also target any age group or fitness ability, so I always show modifications and proper form. I wanna be your personal trainer and share my knowledge and enthusiasm for um, exercise with you. And come on up, let's do some more arm circles up. Come on down, squat it down, come up and take some deep breaths. So while we work out today, make sure you are breathing. We're gonna to try to get our heart rates up a bit. Are you ready? Thumbs up. Remember that thumbs up below. We're gonna get started. So the first one are squat leg lifts. Remember when we squat, we wanna drive our glutes backwards. Our knees are behind our toes. So we're gonna squat down. We're gonna have our legs about shoulder width apart or hip width apart. Come down, you're gonna lift the leg. We're gonna alternate that for 45 seconds. Modification, just don't squat, as, squat down as far or you can just lift your legs. 45 seconds on the clock, let's go. Squat, lift. So we're not going super fast, just getting a nice pace here, moving. Down and up. So when I come back up, I want to be nice and tall, keeping those shoulders back, chest out. Take a look at your knees when you come down. All your weight is in your heels when you squat. Getting a little warmed up here. Keep going. Next exercise, I'll show you what it is and we're gonna move right into it. Keep going. We're almost there. Let's do one more on the other side. Great. Now we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna lift our knees up, up, kick, kick. The key to this is move your arms. That will get your heart rate up. All right, so we're gonna do knees up, up, kick, kick. I don't think we need any modification for this. I think everyone could do it. You could always march in place if you want. Ready? 45 seconds on the clock. Let's go. So knee up, up, kick, kick. So we're going kind of quick here. So even though it's no jumping or stamping, we are just moving. Alternate that kick with those knees up. Get them up high. I'm kind of kicking and um, kneeing. That's okay, keep moving. Use those arms, kick it out. 
Keep the shoulders back too. Whoops, I just lost my pace. Kick, hop, not hop, kick it up and kick it out. Bring that knee up, up, we're almost there. Come on, let's do a couple more and kick it out. All right, you can, I want you guys to go back and forth, grab your water if you need to, and I will show you the next exercise. We're gonna come down on the mat and we're gonna be in a plank position. So we're gonna be up on our arms, our arms are underneath our shoulders. So that's really important. You don't want your arms out here or back. So find your spot, you're gonna drop those glutes. We're gonna bring a right leg up, left leg up. Modification would be just come on your back at any time if we're in planks and you can't do them, just do bicycles, which we will be doing today in this workout. That is your modification. If not, come on, join me up here. Take a deep breath, let's get in position. All the way up, drop those glutes. 45 seconds on the clock, let's go. Right leg in, push it out. Alternating. So if you can tell, my heart rate's up. You can hear it in my breathing. Try to keep those glutes down. You don't want to be up here. Make sure they stay down. Your core and your glutes are one. And push. Feel that right in your core. Try to keep those hips square with the mat. You've got this. Keep going. Move through it. If you're doing those bicycles, keep them going also. We're almost there. And one more on the other side. Great. Let's all take a water break. I don't know how many of you have um, watches that um, follow track your um, exercise. They're a great way to keep um, knowing what your heart rate is, how many calories you burn in a day. Not saying you have to go get one, but there's plenty of products out there that do that. If not, the rate of perceived exertion is a really great way. Notice how you're breathing. If you're breathing really heavy and it's hard to talk, then you're getting your heart rate up. Come on up, we're gonna move along. So this one, we're gonna lunge back. We're gonna almost like we're running. We're gonna come down and up. So we're using our arms. We're gonna do 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. So even though I said no repeat, sometimes we're just gonna be doing 30 seconds on the other side of our body, or 45 seconds. Are we ready? Let's go. Modification, you could just step it back. 45 seconds, let's go. So I'm down, bring that arm all the way up. Step it back. So I'm going like this and up. Modification, you can just go like this if you like. Down and up. So I'm on my right leg. <sighs> Trying to balance, use that core. <sighs> Sometimes when we use momentum, it makes us a little wobbly. That's where you're gonna be using that core. Reach, back and forth. Moving quickly, bringing that heart rate up. <sighs> Keep going, lunge it back or tap it back. Just try to lift that knee up. We're almost there. And one more. Oh, I almost lost it at the end there. Okay, we're gonna be going on the other side. Again, move back and forth, keep that heart rate up a bit. Gonna step back with my left leg now. Same idea, 45 seconds on the clock, let's go. So up and back. Take a deep breath. You've got this. Moving quickly, still low impact, but high intensity. Keep those shoulders back when you come up. So don't try not to slouch. As we go along, sometimes we get tired and our shoulders start coming down. Losing my balance a little bit. Keep pushing yourself. You've got this. We're getting it together. We're getting through this. 45 seconds is a long time. We're almost there. And one more. All right, step that out. Definitely feel my heart rate going up on that one. We're gonna go be going down to the mat in a second. All right, come on down. We're gonna do scissor kicks. So you can put your hands on the small of your back. Sometimes it's more comfortable for people, especially if they have lower back issues. If not, you can leave them here. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna go quickly with our legs for 45 seconds. So again, if this is not comfortable for you, go back to those bicycles. Take a deep breath, legs up, 45 seconds on the clock, let's go. 
So I'm going quickly up and down with those legs. Now I'm trying to keep my shoulders on the mat. Use that core. If you want to, you could just go like this, sort of like a bicycle, whichever one works for you. So you should be feeling that right here in your core, bringing that heart rate up. Breathe it out. Take some deep breaths, blow it out through your mouth. You can hear it in my breathing. Push yourself, give a little extra if you can, but always do what you're capable of. We're almost there. And one more. All right, take a deep breath before we roll on up. Grab those legs. Now I want y'all come up slowly. Sometimes if you come up too fast, you can get dizzy. All right, come up slowly on your feet. Roll it on up. Let's get a quick drink again. And then we're moving on. We're gonna squat quickly back, back and forth of our mat. Remember, drive those glutes backwards, keep those knees behind the toes. If you don't feel comfortable coming all the way down, you're just gonna stand up and move quickly back and forth. All right, you ready? 45 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Keep it low if you can, tapping it back and forth. Keep going. If you're new to my workout videos, you'll notice my hair always seems to come apart when I come down off the mat back up. Tap it back and forth. Again, if you're here, that is absolutely fine. Just use those arms. Come on low if you can. Quick, quick feet. Breathe it through. Take a look at your knees. Are they staying behind your toes? Put all that weight in your heels. Push. Grab the floor, we're almost there. Let's go one more time the other side. Great, let's tap back and forth. Whew. Do you feel the heat rising? I am. Okay, we're back to that mat and now we're gonna do bicycles. So we're gonna be doing them pretty quickly and maybe we'll interval them a little bit. So bicycles, just right elbow to um, left knee and you're just going back and forth. The lower you go, the harder it is. The higher you go with your legs, the easier it is. Take a deep breath, get in position. 45 seconds on the clock. Let's go. So let's stop, start a little bit of moderate pace, but we're gonna pick it up. We wanna bring up our heart rate. Ready, pick it up if you can. We're gonna try to keep at this pace through the whole rest of the 45 seconds. Again, you can go slower, go at your pace. If not, pick it up a little bit more. There's a fine line where you challenge yourself a little bit. So you could always bring it up for a few seconds, bring it down. Kick it out. Keep those breaths coming. Extend that leg if you can. Switch back and forth. Use those obliques, we're almost there. And one more. All right, come up slowly. Take a deep breath, bet my hair's a mess, and come all the way up. Whew. Again, if you need to take a break anytime, you can always hit pause, always take a water break when, it's, when you feel you need to in case if I don't. So that's the beauty of working at home. Whew. We are almost halfway there, but not, we're not quite there yet. Okay, so now we're gonna do some lunging to the side. And again, if you have knee issues, all you have to do is step. You don't have to do the full lunge. So I'm gonna lunge to the side and I'm gonna kick my leg over. So we're gonna do 45 on one side and 45 on the other. Are you ready? Let's go, 45 on the clock, lunge down, kick it. So if you're standing, you're just going like this and kicking. If not coming to that deep lunge, kick it across. Use those arms, push them away. Let's bring up that heart rate, reach it down, kick it across. Again, be mindful, where's your head? Have it um, attached to your spine, have it nice and straight. You don't wanna be looking down, you don't want to be really looking all around. Look at me. So keep your head in alignment with your spine. Push. Are you using those arms? Taking those deep breaths. We're almost there. Let's do one more, kick it across. All right, tap it out. Let's take a little break. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I always like these. I always feel like a good, almost like a stretch. 
Come to the other side, 45 seconds. Let's go, lunge it, and then we're kicking. Lunge, kick. Get my arm movement right. Now remember, don't care what you're doing with your arms, just move them. Single leg exercises create instability, help you um, strong, strengthen your core, and helps prevent falls as we get older. Keep going, push. You all have this. We're almost halfway through this routine. I hope you're feeling your heart rate getting up. Push across. We're almost there. One more. Tap it out. Let's get that drink of water. Oh, how are you feeling? Definitely feeling my heart rate coming up. I hope you are too. We're gonna to be doing standing wood chops. So all we're gonna do is bring our arms up. And we're gonna chop down to one leg, chop down to the other moving kind of quickly. So that's all we're doing. I think everyone can do this. Um, if you don't want to do the arm movements, you can go here if you have some shoulder issues, but we all can move through this. All right, 45 seconds on the clock. Let's go. I'm coming down my left, chop, right. So this is actually an ab exercise too, because we're curling at our waist. But we're gonna move quickly through this and use some momentum. Chop it down, curl at that waist, engage that core. Now, if I'm going too fast for you, slow it down. If you want to go faster than me, please go right ahead. Everyone has different abilities. That's absolutely fine. Keep going. Keep those breaths in. Chop it down, move it. We're almost there. And one more. All right, step it side to side. I just need to pat myself down. I can feel my um, self getting all heated. Okay, we're gonna do side to side skaters. Normally I jump these, but we're gonna engage going down low. So you're gonna come to the left, cross behind, touch down, come out, touch down. So we're gonna move kind of quickly. If you don't wanna go all the way down, you could just go right here. Whew. Ready? 45 seconds on the clock. Let's go. It helps when I put my hands out. Come down, right leg down, right arm out. Here, let's get the motion first and then we'll pick it up. Stepping behind, behind and touching down. So pick it up if you would like to. Join me, we're gonna go a little quicker. If you're standing more upright, just move a little quicker while you're standing upright. Reaching towards that ground. So if you'll notice, I am not bending over. My head's not turning towards you, or you're not seeing the top of my head. I am trying to keep my body upright a bit, put less pressure on that back. And reach. Feeling that heart rate come up. We're almost there. And one more to the other side. Oh, tap it out, grab that water if you need to. I'm feeling this, okay. So we're gonna go into a plank um, position. I'm gonna show you the exercise first. Again, go back to those bicycles if you, if you don't wanna do this. Sorry, my nose is a little itching today. All right, so we're gonna be in plank first, up on our arms. We are gonna push back, and as we push back, I'm gonna lift my right leg. Then I'm gonna come back, push back again in that plank, and alternate my legs. Again, do bicycles if this doesn't work for you. If not, come join me. All right, up in that plank. Make sure you keep those glutes down, but also your core up. Nice straight line. 45 seconds on the clock. Let's go. So push back, lifting with my right leg, coming back down, dropping those hips. Push up and come down. Whew. And come. Feeling that heat. Alternate those legs. When you come back to that plank, make sure you bring those hips down, but keep that core nice and strong. Push, lift. Keep going. Whoops, I lifted before I push back. Push back, lift, come back down. Pushing, lifting. Push, lift. You've got this, we're almost there. Let's get one more in, push it back and lift. Oh, 
was a hard one. All right, let's come back up. Whew. All right, so this one, everyone should be able to do it. It's not gonna involve lunging. So we're gonna tap back, lift our arms, and tap it back. We're just gonna move quickly. <sighs> just try to catch my breath. All right, 45 seconds on the clock, let's go. So up, tap back. <sighs> Use those arms. <sighs> Keep reaching. So again, my shoulders are back, my chest is out and my head's in alignment with my spine. Let's pick it up a bit. Step it a little quicker if you can do it. It's okay if you can't, do your ability. Just push yourself a little bit. A little bit more effort, whether you're going faster or slower. You can do it though. I believe in you, you can do it. Keep going, reach it up, tap it out. We're almost there. And one more. Side to side taps. Again, grab your water if you need to. We will be moving on. Whew. Okay, so we're gonna do squatting again, but we're gonna engage our elbows. Again, working our obliques at the same time. So I'm gonna squat, then it's gonna be right elbow to right knee. Come down in that squat and left elbow. I like keeping my hands up because then I remember I have to use them. It's a little memory trick for me. Are we cooled down a little bit? 45 seconds on the clock, let's go. So you're squatting. I'm gonna do right elbow to left knee, squat. We're gonna pick up the pace in a minute though. We're on exercise 15. We're almost there. Squat it. So remember, drive those glutes back. All your weight is in your knees. I mean, in your heels when you're doing your squats. Lift, alternate. Again, you have to squat down that far. Just make sure you're twisting to your knee. Keep going. Pick up that pace a little bit. Almost there, let's pick it up. Squat, lift, squat, lift, and one more time. All right, tap it out. Let's go get some water. Got about five exercises to go. I think one's a repeat. I shouldn't say repeat, the other side of the body. <sighs> we are moving quick. All right, I'm gonna step side to side for a second, get my heart rate to come down just a little bit. Whew. Okay, so the next exercise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna step back, kick our butts, step back, kick our butts. So I'm stepping, kicking. Again, I think everyone can do this. If you don't feel comfortable kicking your butt, just tap it back and forth. That is absolutely fine. We're just moving, keeping it low impact, but high intensity. 45 seconds on the clock, let's go. I'm stepping to the right, kicking my left, and kick back. Now notice I'm using those arms. Nice wide stance, taking a step to each side, and keeping those shoulders back. Keeping my head looking at you so it stays attached to my spine. So important. You really want to keep your body form. Your body moves as one. So my feet both are going to be pointing towards you. Be mindful where your feet are. Keep going. Let's pick it up a bit. Bring up that heart rate. We're almost there. And one more. Tap it out, we're going to the mat. So if you wanna grab your water, please do. I'm gonna come down here, I think, and take a drink of water. All right, we're gonna be doing marching bridges. Bridges are great core and back exercise, but we're gonna add some cardio to it. All right, you're gonna come down. Everybody's gonna have their hands by them, their side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lift our glutes up and we're gonna be marching it up high. I believe everybody could do this. Please take a break during it if you're feeling cramping or anything like that. And again, if you don't feel comfortable, go back to those bicycles. <sighs> take a deep breath. 45 seconds on the clock, lift those hips up, and let's march. <sighs> nice high marching if you can get it in. Key to this exercise, keep those glutes up. Keep that core nice and strong. And try to have your hands nice and relaxed. Don't brace them. Just use those hips to keep you up in that core. Keep marching. You can hear 
My heart rate is definitely coming up. Let's march it a little bit quicker. Do what you're capable of. And keep going. Go slow it down just a little bit. Keep those hips up if you can, and we're almost there. Let's pick it up. And one more. Oh, let's sit here for a second again. Bring your knees into your chest, and let's just take a deep breath as we roll on up. See how this hair is doing. Okay. We are going to do a um, step back into a lunge, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Um, actually, I'm going to step forward first. So I'm going to step forward into a lunge position, then come back and touch the floor. So I'm coming forward and back. We'll do 45 seconds on this side and then 45 on the other. If you don't feel comfortable with the lunge, just tap it forward and tap it back. Little lunges back and forth. Take that deep breath, 45 seconds on the clock. Let's go. I'm going out right leg and coming down and touching the floor with my right arm. And down. And push. Again, you can do little steps if you need to. You don't have to touch the floor either. We're balancing using that core. But now we're going a little quick, so that creates some imbalance. And reach. Feel that hair going everywhere. And push it down. How you doing with this? You've got this. Whoops, there I go. Whenever I look at you, I lose my balance. Come down, push, and down. We're almost there. Now let's do one more and push it down. Tap it out, then we'll go on to the other side. Whew. All right, so we're coming to this side, left leg now, same idea. So you're going to come forward and then come back, touch down with that left arm with your left leg. Tap it back if you have to. That's absolutely fine. 45 seconds on the clock, let's go. So let's get the motion down. Sometimes you might feel more wobbly on another side. I'm feeling that right now. So I'm gonna get my balance using that core. All right, picking it up just a little bit. This one's hard to pick up your pace because the exercise is hard enough. Again, walk it back and forth if you are doing that. That's fine. Find your rhythm. Put in a little bit more effort. Get that balance, get that core. Whoops. All right, we're almost there. Tap it out. We're almost to the end. Actually, I think we only have this last exercise. We're gonna take it to the mat. Let's take a deep breath before, or take a drink before we get going. It's one of my all-time favorites, um, but we're gonna do it a little quickly. It's actually an ab exercise. And again, if it's too much on your hands, I will give you a modification. So we're gonna push out one direction, come in and push out to the other. So we're gonna move kind of quick, but again, slow it down if you need to. If you want, you could just be here going in and out with your legs. That's absolutely fine. We're all just trying to move our bodies a little bit quicker and get our heart rate up. Last 45 seconds on the clock, let's go. Push out, bring it in. So I'm pivoting on my bottom. Push and come up. Now, you can pick it up if you want or keep this pace. This is hard enough as it is. And push it out. Picking up my pace just slightly. Fix my shorts a little bit. And keep going. How's your breathing? Is it getting a little labored? Do you feel the heat coming on a little bit? That's what you want to feel. Do you want to be totally out of breath? If you are, then stop. Slow it down. But push it out. We're almost there. Finish line coming up. And one more. Let's sit here for a second. Take a deep breath. Oh. Oh, and blow it out. I want you to, let's actually, we're gonna do a stretch here. So we're going on to stretching now. However, if you feel like you wanna do more, 
I have lots of other videos out there, short videos, cardio, strength. So you could always match one of those to this workout. But if you're like me, I'm pretty hot right now. So do what's, what you're capable of and what you feel like you wanna do. We're gonna come here and do a stretch. So my arms are below my shoulders. What we're gonna do is arch her back like a cat. Take a couple deep breaths and then let it out. So this time you get to relax that core. Come all the way down. Let's arch our back again, all the way up and release it. Let's take that deep breath, bring that back all the way up and push it down. Bring your feet up. We're gonna slowly roll up. So you're gonna slowly roll up and roll those shoulders back. Let's come off the mat. You're gonna bring your right leg back. Let's press that heel all the way into the floor. Stand up straight. All that weight is in that heel. Feel that back of the leg. You're gonna feel that nice stretch. And take a deep breath. Now let's lift that heel up and down. We wanna stretch those muscles and tendons in our feet. And one more. Let's switch it around. All that weight again, feel that stretch on the back of your leg. Stand up nice and tall and up and down with that foot. Great, if you need a chair or wall, please go ahead and get that or get near it. We're gonna grab our leg, I'm gonna balance. I'm stretching out my quad. We did a lot of legs today. So let's stand here and stretch that out. Stretching is so important at the end. It helps prevent the onset of soreness that you might feel after a workout. So please always stretch after a workout. Let's switch legs. Good, and hold that. And again, get your breathing under control. Take some deep breaths. I'm gonna fall over. Let's stretch out those arms. So I'm gonna bring my right arm over, grab it and pull it a little bit. So I'm pulling on my back. Did some planks today. We wanna make sure we stretch every part of our body. Arm up and over and reach. Let's bring this over. So you showed up today. That's the most important part, uh, most important part about working out is just showing up and then doing the exercises. You give it the best you can every day. Some days those days aren't as the best that you think you want to do, but you did it. That's all that matters. You come out and you do this as best you can. Some days I don't sleep very well, but I still try to do my exercises. I might not be at my best, but I feel accomplished at the end of that exercise. Let's take a deep breath up and come back down. If you'd like, visit my website. I have a lot of useful information on there, blogs about exercise, nutrition, home gyms. I also would love for you to subscribe to our channel, hit that subscribe button. If you'll share our YouTube channel with your friends and family on your social media, that will help us grow also. Give us those thumbs up and comments. I love reading your comments, so keep them coming. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll be alerted when more videos are posted. I will see you on our next workout.